Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing, finally doing, as I've had this for quite a while now, my review of the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. <laughs> and this is by Benefit, so I've never actually used a Benefit product before, so I'm quite excited. So, you can't, you won't be able to see it very well, but packaging, I love, I just love the colours. But let's do this. I've already done my base as I am doing a first impression on some brushes and beauty blenders that I had one. So I'll link that down below if it's already up. I'm so excited about this. I've wanted to use it for days, but I just haven't had time to film. So yay. I love the packaging. <gasps> Many of you are already going to know what it looks like and how it works because I'm so far behind on this bandwagon. I'll zoom you really close so you can see my lashes. So I've got nothing on them. This is really up close and personal, but let's go. So that is the wand. I just tipped that upside down. Well done, Lisa. When it decides to, there we go. So the wand looks really nice. The packaging is really sort of, it's nice to handle, so that's good. Oh my God. So that is three strokes already. Like that would be what my eyelashes usually look like with, mm, it's gone on my eyelid. I mean my, top of my eye. My camera's not focusing very well. Now I've heard you have to be careful with how much of this you put on as it can go clumpy but holy hell. <laughs> now I don't usually curl my eyelashes so I didn't today but I probably should have because they'd be really long. Oh my god, when it decides to focus, look at that! Oh my god, I look crazy. Oh my god. Look at the difference. Wow, I actually feel like I'm wearing false lashes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to take a photo. My mentor. I'm shook. I am shook. So clearly this is the one with the bad girl bang on and this is nothing and... Oh my god. That makes me very happy. Because I absolutely suck at putting false lashes on. So this... is basically the equivalent of putting lashes on without the mess and the stress when I can't get them on. Going in for a second dip. I don't know why, I just want to. The face is, oh, it's gone out of focus, sorry about that. My camera's not, not all the best. But this, is insane. I think that's enough because I'm gonna look pretty scary if I keep going. But seriously, look at that. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Just wow. Oh my god. So I've used a lot of mascaras and I mean a lot. I had heaps when I was younger. I was obsessed. I was crazy. Yeah. So, what I usually use is the LL Argan Coral Colors Lavish Lashes. It's a mouthful. Now, that does do wonders to my eyelashes. I also have the Revlon Ultimate All in One. This is waterproof. I don't mind it, but it's, yeah, not my favorite, but this. Holy crap, like I can feel my eyelashes getting stuck in my hair. That's how long they feel. And I've kind of done my bottom lash a little bit, so I should do the other side. <sighs> With risk of looking crazy. Ugh, lighting's changed. I'm going to do my bottom lashes. Let's zoom you in a little.
I'm only doing this very lightly as I know that I do have very long bottom lashes and I don't want them to look overly spidery. Is that a nice spider? If my camera would stay in focus, that would be awesome, but oh my god! Okay. Shook. I am. No, I'm just shook. I'm dead. I am amazed. Absolutely. Like, that is all over my finger. 150 billion percent recommend. This is amazing. Especially if you have very sparse lashes. I think this would help a lot. Definitely check it out. I bought this off of Sephora for, is that $42? Now I thought that was a bit pricey, but considering how well this works, price does not even come into it for me. Like, oh my God. I love the packaging. I love how it's like a, it kind of feels like the, is it NYX? No, NARS. The NARS packaging. This is one of those NARS, I don't know, it was like a contour brush. Again, never gets used. But back to this. Yeah, I love the packaging. It's so nice to sort of, it kind of feels like a pen, the top of a pen grip. Is that what they were called? Pen grips? Um, that's what it feels like. It's so easy to use. I'm out of words, I'm shook, sure, honestly. Ah, oh, so the lid clicks back too. Ah, that's good, so definitely. If I hadn't noticed that, it probably would have dried out tomorrow and I would have been really upset. But this is definitely my new Holy Grail mascara. I'm going to use this every day. Sorry to the Revlon and Coral colors, but you're gonna go in my drawer. You're going for a little nap. I'm gonna use the absolute hell out of this. I'm so happy, oh my God. Yeah, so that is my review of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a huge thumbs up. I will see you all again very soon. Bye.